I'm here at Austin Energy's DC Fast Charging Station in Austin, Texas with a car that might be the most interesting car you've never heard of, and that is the Polestar 2. The Polestar 2 is the luxury electric line from Volvo, and while it has a lot of Volvo DNA and a lot of characteristics that you know and love in a Volvo, it also has a lot of its own Polestar badging. The one thing it doesn't have is the Polestar name on it anywhere. Volvo designed the Polestar 2 pretty much from the ground up, and while yes, there's a lot of Volvo DNA, in fact, the shape and size of this car might remind you of some Volvo sedans and there's some great Volvo technology inside the car. What you're going to see is a truly unique driving and car ownership experience. Polestar actually will come to you to let you take a test drive. From there, you work with their people online and on the phone until you take delivery of the car. So typically, if you wanted to test drive a new car, you'd have to go into the dealership. But uh, with us, all you have to do is sign up online, and we'll bring the Polestar 2 right to your house or your business, and uh, you drive it right there. You can do this in 25 cities. And what's the furthest distance you'll drive to give somebody a test drive? Uh, our radius is about an hour outside of the cities in which we operate. To charge the Polestar, you can use any standard charging station. You can use a level two, which charges a little slower and may take uh, up to six hours to replenish the battery. Or you can use a DC fast charger, which in about an hour and a half will replenish about 80% of the battery. It's super easy, you just download an app to your phone and you tap it to the charge station to initiate charging or to end charging. There's a little button here that you can also use to disengage the charge handle. The Polestar 2 is a luxury car, and that means it has a lot of great luxury features, including this one. Boom. But it's also a hatchback, and that means that you can just remove this cargo cover, and then you can put the seats down for an SUV-like liftgate area that allows you to put in a rug, things from the Home Depot, or even a table or piece of furniture, things that you can't do in a sedan. This is luxurious. With your key in your pocket or your purse, you just open the door, put on your seatbelt, put it in gear, and away you go. There's no key to insert. There's not even a start button. That is the luxury of the Polestar 2. It's actually the luxury of many electric vehicles is your time getting in and getting settled is very streamlined. You just get in and go. Polestar has really rethought the entire cabin and about how you use the different things that you use but also creating a really calm and elegant environment. So a couple of things you'll notice, there's this fabric panel here. Behind here are speakers, and you'll also find those fabric panels on the door, the door panels as well, also covering the speakers. That fabric creates a really elegant environment. There are soft touch materials here, and here, and then you have this really beautiful open pour wood grain that is seen here on the dash and then also here on the center console. Here, this is the gear selector. So it actually is this really beautiful piece of sculpture that you hold in your hand. It's not just a, a clunky gear selector. It has the Polestar logo right there. When you put it into gear, you just pull back for drive or push it forward for reverse and here's your park button. Your infotainment center is controls are here. These are the hot buttons for, uh, for map or radio or climate. Here is the app screen. So this is where you have all of the apps, including the Google directed system. This is the very first infotainment system built by Google. In fact, hey Google, turn the cabin temperature to 72 degrees. Sure. Changing the temperature to 72 degrees. Oh, and I like that she's English. <laughs> hey, Google. What is the horsepower of the Polestar 2? 
The 2021 Polestar 2 has a horsepower rating of 408 horsepower. Hey Google, what is the battery range of the Polestar 2? 292 miles. Here's a summary from the website polestar.com. And then everything else really is either controlled here on this screen or on the steering wheel. So it's a digital driver instrument panel, gauge cluster, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it has a lot of great information that, and it allows you to customize how you'd like to see that information. So you can actually change your steering feel to firm or light or standard. You can turn on or off sport mode, and then you can turn on or off one pedal driving. The Polestar 2 has a range of 233 miles, but if you use one pedal driving, you might actually get closer to 250 or even 275. If you get really good at it, you could probably get up to into the 270s um, number of miles that you get on a, on a single charge. You also can find your driver assist features here. Here is your charge information. This shows us that we have a 90% uh, charge on the battery. You can also see that's over here. So I have 90% over here and a 210 mile range. And then there are a few more details over here that I can set. I have the 360 camera on so I can change to that or I can change to, I can look at any one of the cameras on any side. You just punch it and all of a sudden you're going 80. <laughs> It's pretty incredible. That's what 408 horsepower is. It sort of reminds me of the G-forces that are unleashed on a roller coaster. So now I don't mean the, the up and down, whip you around feeling of a roller coaster, but that pure unadulterated speed with no sound, with no throttle, with no growling engine, just pure speed. That is the magic of the Polestar. I'm gonna do it again, you ready? <laughs> it is so fun and it feels so good. You almost have to be careful because you punch it and the acceleration is so fast. If you have one pedal driving on in a place like a parking lot, you're probably going to be pretty safe. You're not going to um, inadvertently plow down people in the parking lot which I worry about because the acceleration is so fast in this car. But if you have one pedal driving on, you should be fine. If you have standard set and creep mode, you could actually tap the accelerator and go much faster than you intend to. Let's give creep mode a try and see what that is all about. So I'm gonna turn creep on and we have one pedal drive in standard and I'm going to give my steering feel light. So, you see how the car continues to move? I have not touched the brake until now. Now, if I touch the brake, the car will move forward. If I, touch, if I take my foot off the brake, the car will move forward. And that is the experience of driving the Polestar 2.